They were oceans apart, cultures divided by continents. And yet, the DNA tells a different story. In the heart of India's ancient ruins, buried deep beneath layers of time and silence, scientists uncovered something no one expected. A fragment of genetic code that shouldn't be there. Not in India, not in Asia. Thousands of miles away, across the vast Pacific and rugged Andes, a similar genetic marker once pulsed in the veins of ancient American civilizations. The connection? Impossible. Unthinkable. And yet, the sequences match. What could possibly link ancient Indian lineages to peoples who lived and died in the Americas centuries before Columbus ever set sail? A forgotten voyage? A vanished migration? Or something far older and far stranger? What secrets lie dormant in ancient bones? And how could this lost connection rewrite the very map of human history? India, cradle of civilization, home to empires, philosophies, and timeless myths. But among the sacred temples and ancient burial sites, archaeologists found something that doesn't t secondary key ganti tui ta ti belong. Remnants of a genetic lineage long believed to be exclusive to pre-Columbian America. The DNA was extracted from human remains in the Indus Valley, dating back over 4,000 years. Thousands of kilometers away, similar sequences had already been found in ancient Peruvian and Mesoamerican populations. Statistical models ruled out contamination. Radiocarbon dating confirmed the timelines. And yet, the data kept repeating the same pattern. Isolated individuals, separated by oceans and millennia, shared a mysterious genetic fingerprint. How could such a connection exist before transoceanic travel was even possible? There are no known trade routes, no written records, no ships advanced enough to cross such distances at that time. Still, the DNA speaks, and what it says shakes the foundations of what we know about human migration. Was there a forgotten chapter of history? A global link between civilizations we once thought were strangers? It began in a dust-choked trench outside the ancient city of Rakigari, one of the largest known settlements of the Indus Valley civilization. Beneath crumbling layers of brick and soil, archaeologists unearthed a remarkably well-preserved burial site, bones undisturbed for over four millennia. Among them was the skeleton of a woman, her wrists adorned with shell bangles, her skull intact, her DNA pristine. Initial scans were routine, but what followed was anything but. A tiny segment of her mitochondrial DNA showed anomalous markers, genetic signatures that mirrored those found not in Asia, but thousands of miles away, in the Americas. At first, the team suspected a lab error, contamination, perhaps, but retesting only confirmed the impossible. The markers were real and ancient. A quiet ripple spread through the global scientific community. How did a woman from Bronze Age India carry a genetic code linked to pre-Columbian American peoples? This wasn't a coincidence. It was a doorway, a clue to a long-forgotten connection that would unravel an even deeper mystery. The discovery sent shockwaves through the corridors of academia. Teams of geneticists, anthropologists, and historians from India, Peru, and the United States convened, drawn together by one burning question. How could this DNA exist on both sides of the world? Millennia before contact, the woman from Rakigari was only the beginning. Soon, similar markers were identified in two other burial sites, one in Gujarat, another near the Bay of Bengal. Each one predated known transoceanic travel by centuries. On the other side of the planet, genetic databases from ancient American remains were reanalyzed. In Peru's Sacred Valley and in remote parts of Mesoamerica, faint but unmistakable echoes of South Asian DNA emerged.
but the evidence was fragile. DNA degrades, burial conditions vary, and skeptics were quick to challenge the results. So the teams turned to deeper analysis, cross-referencing ancient genomes, building phylogenetic trees, and tracing lineage divergence. It wasn't just one or two outliers. The connections formed a pattern, a hidden thread woven through time and space. The possibility grew stronger with every test. There may have been contact, but when and how? They needed certainty. And certainty in science begins with replication. Advanced genome sequencing was deployed. Laboratories in Delhi, Boston, and Lima cross-checked results in total isolation. No communication. No room for bias. The verdict came in identical markers. The same rare haplogroup, shared across continents, confirmed in three separate labs. Even more shocking was the dating. The Indian samples were over 4,000 years old. The American ones? Some as recent as 1-200 years, others even older. This wasn't a case of post-Columbian mixing. These genes had deep roots. Mitochondrial DNA revealed maternal lineage. But when they sequenced nuclear DNA, the results were even more dramatic. Segments of the genome suggested a shared ancestry that likely split over 15,000 years ago, long before any known civilization had ships capable of such voyages. But how could that be? The prevailing models of human migration suddenly looked fragile. Some scientists proposed a forgotten migration through the ancient Bering Land Bridge, looping into Asia and back again. Others whispered something bolder transoceanic travel long before history recorded it. The data didn't lie. Something or someone had crossed the world and left their mark in the blood of two distant peoples. Imagine the world 15,000 years ago. The last ice age is retreating. Sea levels are rising. Humanity is scattered in small bands, surviving, migrating, exploring. A group leaves the Indian subcontinent, sailors, shamans, seekers, drawn perhaps by stars, storms, or something else entirely. They travel east, hugging coastlines, crossing archipelagos, island to island, from South Asia through Southeast Asia, reaching the Pacific. Their boats, made of reeds and resin, are crewed by modern standards, but they float, and with time, Courage and instinct, they press forward. Past Polynesia, beyond Easter Island, across currents not yet named. Some perish, others turn back, but a few reach the western edge of the unknown, South America. They come ashore near what is now Peru, their presence leaving no monuments, no cities, only bloodlines. Over generations, their genes mix with native populations, subtle and silent, passed from mother to daughter, father to son, until all memory of the journey fades. But the DNA remembers, locked in bone, waiting to be read. Today, that ancient voyage, unwritten, unrecorded, but now undeniable, is finally being reconstructed, piece by genetic piece. What else is hidden in the bones of our ancestors? The story of humanity is not a straight line. It's a web, twisted, tangled, and full of missing threads. For centuries, we believed the oceans divided us. But now, ancient DNA whispers another truth. Maybe we were never truly separate to begin with. The link between India and the Americas challenges everything. History books, migration models, even our sense of identity. It suggests a world far older and more connected than we ever imagined. A world where forgotten sailors crossed impossible distances and vanished into myth, leaving only fragments of themselves in future generations. This isn't the end of the story. It's just the beginning. If ancient DNA can reveal this, what other secrets still lie buried? waiting to be unearthed.
like what you've discovered today. Hit the like button, subscribe for more deep dives into the unknown, and join us as we continue decoding the forgotten chapters of our past. Because sometimes the truth is written not in stone, but in the blood.